Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Today we're going to make stuffed peppers from our garden. Look at these beautiful peppers we just pulled from our garden. Okay, now I want to show you how I cut my peppers. I don't usually cut them the way everybody cuts them off the top and then stuffs them up like that. I cut them down the middle like this. And you just cut the stem off. Clean it out. And you cut, clean that out as you can. Rinse the seeds out of it. And we got a nice little book boat here. For your stuffing. I'll do that now and we'll get back to you. Okay I cut all my peppers up nice boat size. Now I'm going to put a little salt in this hot water and I'm going to blanch them for about five to eight minutes. You got to blanch them because they're pretty tough peppers. Okay, I'll get you when we get back. Currently, as our things are blanching over there, our peppers, we're going to start sauteing. I got about two pounds of chopped meat here, chopped chuck, and uh, I'm going to do it in two separate issue uh, pans. Times, but remember, all our ingredients will be listed in the description below. So. Don't worry about it. Okay, as you see, we got our chopped meat going. So we're tying it up. We're going to take our peppers and we're going to dump them into cold water right away to stop the cooking. Just want them to soften up a little bit. I'm going to put more cold water in that. Okay, as you see, I sauteed my chopped meat. This is from a butcher. As you see, there's no water in this when you saute it. When you get it in the supermarket, you get a pound of water. Now, normally you would make a little quick sauce, a little onion, a little garlic, and a little, uh, and, and you cook this chopped meat and put it in it and cook it for a few minutes. But we went, the other day we had our plum tomatoes from the garden, so we made a fresh sauce and we put some broccoli in it and, and, uh, and chickpeas, uh, not chickpeas, white cannelli beans. So I'm going to mix that in there. But if you, when you do it, just make yourself a nice quick sauce and put your chopped meat in it and mix it all up and cook it just for a few minutes in the sauce. Okay, so now we see we made our sauce, quick sauce, a little chopped meat sauce, and we're going to slowly add our rice to it. Cooked this before and cooled it down. I like to have everything a little bit on the cool side. Okay, we mixed our rice in. What we would be without the little pecorino romano in there? We have to mix that in there too. And we get this mixture nice, nice and nice. Okay, now we get our grab our peppers and we load this up nice and nice. And put it over here. Okay, don't forget to preheat your oven to 350. 
I know you don't want to hear this in the summer, but it's we got our peppers, so we got to make them. Had to switch the pans that wasn't big enough, that other pan, and this one is a little too big, but I put some tin foil here to hold it together. I'm going to sprinkle the tops with some cheese again. And I'm going to put a little bit of water into the pan, not on the flesh, not on the pepper. Just a little bit. And I'm going to put it in a 350 oven for about 40 minutes until the tops get a little brown. We'll see you when that's done. Okay, I just took these out of the oven and put a couple on this plate. Now I want to tell you something. In the recipe, on the, in the description, you're going to see I used two cans of crushed tomatoes. I didn't do that today because we had that leftover sauce. So I don't have extra sauce, but normally you would have extra sauce left over and you could put that on top when you serve it and then eat it. And I got extra filling left over. I think tomorrow I'll get a couple of tacos and I'll make some tacos with that filling. It's great. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget in the description is all the ingredients. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Bye now.